Forensic Nursing Services at Salina Regional Health Center sees over 300 patients a year, 60% of those children. Karen Grote, Forensic Nurse of Salina Regional Health Center, joins me today on The Pulse. Karen, what is forensic nursing? Forensic nursing is a nursing subspecialty where we take care of patients that have been impacted by violence, like um, sexual assault patients, patients that have been um, beat up, patients that have been shot, child abuse patients, elder abuse, uh, sex trafficking, um, strangulation is a, is a common one that we see. Um, and those patients have more needs than just the general patient that comes to be seen in the ER. Uh, we spend time with them by themselves so that they don't feel like they can't talk, um, you know, when someone else is in the room. Uh, and then we, you know, do a head to toe exam, uh, documenting any injuries that we find. Um, and that helps us to be able to take care of them in a better way, um, helps the ER to take care of them, and then it helps the court process later um, if there's prosecution. Okay, you mentioned the court system. What other entities do you work with? We work with law enforcement, um, including the KBI. We work with um, advocacy agencies so that our patients have the resources they need when we send them out to um, get things such as therapy, um, if they need a safe place to stay, those kind of things. Um, we work with Department for Children and Families. Um, we work with uh, therapists. Um, just whatever the patient needs so that they can move on with their lives. I know education is an important aspect of your job as well. Let's talk about that. Yes, education is very important. Number one, we educate our patients. Um, we also educate law enforcement. Um, every, in Saline County, we educate all the new ones that come out of law enforcement training so that they um, know when to utilize us, when to call us. Um, we go to other law enforcement agencies as we're asked. Um, we also educate, um, nursing students, um, other nurses, physicians sometimes, and um, just the general public when we're asked to come speak about what we do. Do you have any resources available for, for the general public in talking about forensic nursing? We actually just updated our website recently on srhc.com and I've included a lot of different links that people can go to to um, get help, read about, you know, if they are afraid to talk to other people or come in, um, but there's resources there that they can get help, yes. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. For more information, please visit the Emergency Department tab of SRHC.com and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.